Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Swuss. Continuing on with MLB Wednesday. Got Rockies, Padres here. Uh, two live shows. We got 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We'll go through the MLB day games. 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We'll go through the, M- uh, the NHL playoffs, NBA playoffs, WNBA, and MLB night games. If you're able to make it, we'd love to see in the comments. Rockies, Padres, let's go. Welcome to The Swiss. The Swiss. Hey, get the Suez. All right, like I said, Colorado's on the road in San Diego here. Padres are minus 250 favorites, so heavy home favorites. Total sitting at eight. On the mound for Colorado, we got Austin Gomer, Michael King pitching for the Padres. Let's take a quick look at the spreadsheet. According to the model, shocker, lean towards the Padres. 2.65 to 2.09 after five innings. 4.88 to 3.61 after nine. So let's start with the matchup for Michael King. Uh, and he's been impressive this season. He's got a 367 ERA, a 131 whip, and a 390 expected fit through eight starts. That's solid. Uh, we did see him struggle for a little four-game stretch there. Was at Angels, at Rocky, so uh, that Coors Field, um, and one home game against the Phillies. There was a little stretch where Michael King was struggling in there, but he's bounced back in a major way. His last two starts against the Dodgers and Diamondbacks got a perfect zero ERA, an 085 whip, and a 287 expected fit. Now King gets a little bit of a revenge spot here at home against a Rockies lineup that really lit him up. Uh, he made his first start ever at Coors Field, just three and two-thirds innings, eight hits, three walks, and four earned runs. So they got to him. Um, I will say this Rockies lineup is heating up a bit against right-handed pitching. Over the last seven days, they're seventh in WRC+, plus, third in OPS, third in WOBA against righties. Now, seven days is a super small sample size, but they are coming to life. Um, that being said, look at the last 30 days. 30th, 27th, and 27th. So take those numbers for what they are. It's just a seven-day sample size. I mean, the last 12 righties to pitch against the Rockies actually have some ugly-looking numbers. So they have gotten to righty starters, a 587 ERA and a 161 whip, but... The Rockies are doing most of their damage, as always, at home in Coors Field. On the road in the in the last 30 days, this is still dead last against righties in WRC+, Plus, OPS, and WOBA. The Rockies' numbers, you always have to take into account where they're playing because they'll put up some really nice hitting numbers at home, but this lineup is always trash on the road. They did get to Randy Vasquez at San Diego on Monday, but... He's pretty terrible, and Michael King is not. And it's definitely a nice angle that Michael King's a strikeout guy. He's got a 25.6K rate this year. The Rockies have actually done very well against righties who can't generate strikeouts, but against righties who can strike guys out, pretty terrible. 24th, 24th, and 20th. Against righties with a strikeout rate below 19%, they're actually second, fourth, and seventh. So the fact that Michael King can generate strikeouts is huge here. So personally, I know the recent numbers against right-handed pitching might have some people down to back the Rockies lineup here, but I call bullshit. I think King deals here. Uh, on the other side, we got Austin Gomer, who's <laughs> actually got solid numbers this year. He's got a 343 ERA, a 125 whip. 445 expected FIP indicates he's had some good luck, but still, his last two times out, he's got 12 and a third innings, just one run baseball. Gomer's pitching, man. And now he's going to see a Padres lineup that's been very underwhelming against lefties and very underwhelming at home. In the last 30 days against left-handed pitching, the Padres are 26th, 27th, and 27th. Bottom five lineup in baseball against lefties in the last 30 days. And at home, in the last 30 days, 24th, 27th, and 27th. So this Padres lineup in the last 30 days, bottom five against left-handed pitching, bottom five at home. Is Austin Gomer going to deal here? This is crazy. Uh, the last five lefty starters to pitch against the Padres, they combined for an 047 ERA and an 067 whip. So lefty starters have been blanking this Padres lineup as of late. And check this out. Austin Gomer has actually taken advantage of these opportunities. He's made two starts against bottom 10 lineups against left-handed pitching. In those two starts, he's got a 154 ERA and a 120 whip. So he's actually pitched well when he's given the opportunity to pitch against a lineup that can't hit lefties, like the Padres right now. Also, so Austin Gomer has weirdly good history against the Padres. Through 11 career appearances, he's 2-3, and three, but he's got a 338 ERA, a .88 home runs per nine, and a 124 whip. So he's actually pitched well against the Padres. So as much as I like the matchup for Michael King, I think Austin Gomer could pitch well too. So first five under here has got to be the move, and I actually see on Prop Beaver's notes right here, he's got the first five under. I agree with that. Uh, as far as the battle in the bullpens, Last 14 days, these two bullpens are about even. Padres' bullpen definitely much better at home, and the Rockies' bullpen on the road has been pretty trash. So the fact that the, the game's in San Diego, I'd give the edge to the Padres' bullpen. Uh, so maybe a slight, probably rest 
Colorado first five money line at first five under. I like that first five under. Let's do it. First five under. Like I said earlier, the live shows are at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time and 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. If you're able to make it, we'd love to see in the comments. If you want my top bets or the top bets from anyone on the staff here, head over for Kyle. Head over to kylecrums.com and sign up for Sauce Network Plus. It comes with the top bets from everyone on the staff here, as well as access to the Discord, access to the spreadsheets, all that. So if you're interested, head over to kylecrums.com. Uh, yeah, let's have ourselves a good Wednesday. See you in the live show. Uh, remember to bet responsibly, and I'll talk to you in the Discord.